Hey guys, I'm doing a thrift haul today. I'm so excited. I went to the Goodwill outlet for the first time in like over two months, so that was pretty exciting. And then I went to two more thrift stores after that, so I'm gonna show you what I got at the Goodwill outlet first, and then I'll jump into the stuff that I got at the regular Goodwill. So I know I get questions a lot, so if you're new to thrifting and reselling and you hear people say the bins or Goodwill Outlet Center, it is a huge warehouse that's filled with uh, long blue bins and they're filled with clothes, shoes, and I call it junk. <laughs> it's just like hard goods. And basically it's everything that didn't sell within five, four to five weeks at regular Goodwill and also Goodwill's rejects. Uh, so you'll definitely be finding lots of stuff with stains, rips, holes, etc. So don't be alarmed if you see some things that I'm going to show you guys with like stains and holes in it because some of this stuff is flawed but I'm going to try and fix some of it. So I did get a lot of shoes there so I'm going to show you guys the shoes first. Uh, the first pair are these Stuart Wiseman, they're like wedge sandals. Now they do have the Goodwill sticker on it, so I know that these came from the regular Goodwill, but they didn't sell over there, so they made their way to the bins. They do have a little bit of flaws, like I mentioned before. There's like a little tear there, and there's also some scuffing on the sides, but I'm, you know, paying only a couple dollars for a pair of Stuart Wiseman heels with some flaws. I can still make a good profit on those. The next pair are these Earthies snakeskin flats. These ones I didn't see a Goodwill tag, so they may have just came from like a straight donation. These I thought were so cute and I'm surprised that no one grabbed them. They're these fringe booties. They don't actually have any flaws on them. They're in really good condition and they're by the brand very volatile. I have never heard of that before. I did Google it and comps are okay. They're not that bad. But oh, so I do see the price on here. So Goodwill wanted $9.99 and I'm pretty sure that's why they ended up at the bins. Sometimes Goodwill likes to overprice things and a lot of times you'll find at the bins stuff with like higher price, mark, price tags on them. The next pair of boots here are actually Cole Haan. And they're really cute. They're like this moto style boot. And again, these ones didn't really have like any flaws. I'm still gonna clean them up a little bit. Like they do have a little bit of like dust and marks just from probably like other shoes and being in a bin. But I'm ex these are probably my favorite pair that I found. These are exciting. They definitely need some rehab, but all the rubber band on it. They are vintage Steve Madden. How cool are these? I sold a similar pair for $60 on Poshmark. So yeah, they're vintage Steve Madden. They do have a lot of like distressing on here, but I have like the leather balm that I'm going to use to just clean them up a little bit, make them look nice again. Some things obviously aren't going to go away, but again, they are vintage and I'm pretty sure I can sell these for like 40, 50 bucks. Next, are, these are definitely a gamble for me. I'm not sure how they're gonna do. But, again, I will show you something that Goodwill keeps doing. They wanted $15 for these, and that's why they ended up at the bins. They are Crocs, and they're like these Croc boots. But, I think they'll sell. And, again, I only paid a couple bucks. I'm like getting excited because this is my first time looking at the stuff since I left the bins yesterday. These I'm excited about even though it's definitely the wrong season. They are J. Crew, And these don't have any price prices on them so they might have been like a straight donation. They're sandals and they're suede and they have like a wrap up with like the little tassels. These are really cute. The cashier really liked these too. <laughs> All right, so that was all the shoes that I got the bins. Now I'm gonna move on to the clothes. So the first thing is this men's. I don't really sell men's that often, but I figured if I'm at the bins, you know, and it's good stuff, why not try it out? Uh, this is Mountain Hardware. 
and uh, my boyfriend does do a lot of mountain biking and when I see like mountain hardware stuff in his size I usually grab it for him but this one ended up being a XXL which is too big for him so I'll just sell it I showed it to him and he said it's a fisherman shirt so I don't know we'll see how that goes so when I go thrifting I go with my mom and I've been showing my mom different labels so it actually helps me out because if she finds something that she knows I might want then she'll pick it up for me and this was one that she found it's Vince and this guy needs a lot of work <laughs> well not really he just needs a lot of uh, sweater shaving if you guys can see there's like a lot of fuzz but there's no holes or stains but so that's a Vince sweater. And also all this stuff is gonna get washed. I, I get asked that a lot. I do wash stuff that comes from the bins because I don't like the smell. It has an ex, like an extinct, like a this special smell. Like if you've been to the bins, you know what I'm talking about. This is Loft. This is a really cute, like, uh, what do they call them? Teddy bear sweaters, like the fuzzy. And it's huge and long. And it also has pockets. I know it's not swim season, swim season, but ugh. what is this? I did find this Victoria's Secret, and it's a size 36D. And since Victoria's Secret discontinued their swim, I do like to grab them when I can at the bins. And it's a really cute bikini top. I might list it now, I might save it for winter because I do have, I have like a big bag full of all bikinis and bras that I'm just sitting on, I don't know why. This is exciting, so cute. What, um, so before I went to the bins, I actually texted my mom and I was like, I really just need to find a bin of free people sweaters. Like, I just prayed upon it and it happened. So this is a free people really cute sweater and it's in like excellent condition which I'm surprised no flaws nothing and then this one just the same I found all of them together I think there's another one in there I have to look so this is free people and this one's black and has pockets and it buttons I think the other one's like at the bottom. So I picked this up because it's plus size. It's just a GN Pierre. I don't know if this is gonna. So they sell this at like Nordstrom Rack. I think TJ Maxx carries it. But I thought it was cute with like the lace up detailing. Just a sweater. Alright. This is just a uh, velvet. And they sell this sometimes at Anthropology, and I think it might be the same thing as Velvet with uh, Graham and Spencer, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's just this basic shirt with like the drop back. I don't know. It's cute. I'll probably sell it for like 15 bucks. This is, I can't remember the name. It's that ATM. And I think it's like Anthony something. It retails for a lot of money, but I'm not sure what their resale value is. And it's just a simple black. Okay. Uh, that was just a string. Just a simple black shirt. This is really cute. It's a ribbed bodysuit. And it is from uh, Urban Outfitters. It's a really small label. I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see it. It's out from under, and it just has like the scoop back. I know this has a stain on it somewhere. Okay, let me show you the label first. This is stateside, and they sell this at Nordstrom Rack. It's like this cute little pullover sweatshirt, but it needs to get washed, and I'm gonna try and see if the stains come out. I don't know if it'll show up. 
dots right there. They're like three little dots. So it won't hurt to give it a try. But other than that, I didn't really see anything major. And if I can't get it out, I might just keep it for myself because I don't mind wearing stuff with little stains. That's just me. So this is another example of something uh, that was at Goodwill and it didn't sell. It's by the brand uh, Cliché. And I think I'm pronouncing that right. They actually sell this at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I have this exact same sweater but in green that I bought at the yellow tag sale. And it's really cute. It has all this embroidery on it. Oh, so this is something that I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Sometimes I like to just buy things and not look things up just because they feel like good quality. This might even be the crappiest brand ever. I have no idea. It's Laura Hill Hillevac. I don't know what it is, but I found it with a bunch of other good things. So I thought maybe this person, like since they like expensive stuff, maybe this might be nice too. I mean, it is cute though. It's a workout sweatshirt, but it has like these cute printed sleeves and then the inside of the hood also has it so I'll google that after I'm done doing this this is just a uh, Lucy workout tank just purple and this has a barb on it so I know this was from regular Goodwill and it didn't sell which I'm like really surprised it didn't it's cute and it has a uh, wiring like built in This is a White House Black Market. And this is their newer label, by the way. So if you find this label, definitely pick it up, especially if it's in like a size large, extra large. I found that they sell decent. And this is a cute top. It has cute little lace details on it. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. I really like the style. It's Altered State. And it's just a simple pullover. Alright, so this one is probably my most exciting find there. It does need some rehab. So the free people tag is starting to like come off right here. So I'm going to have to sew it. But this is one of their thermals. And it has this really cute like cuff sleeve. I'm going to have to do some research. Some of these are worth a lot of money. I'm not sure if this one is rare. It might be because it's black, but I don't know. I didn't, like I said, I didn't do any research, nothing on this stuff. I just threw it all in a bag and checked out. <laughs> this guy needs some major uh, pill shaving, <laughs> but this is Iviva, which is Lululemon's children's line. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna, there we go. These don't really sell for much at all. They usually sell for around, I'd say maybe like 10 to 20 bucks. But this is what their symbol looks like. So if you ever see that out in the wild for, you know, like a dollar or two dollars, I'd pick it up. So this brand is called Tracex. And they're known for like their basics. I do grab these at the bins because they do sell anywhere from like $15, $10, dollars So it's a quick sale, little bread and butter. So this is another one that my mom found by Vince. And it's just a like dolman sleeve. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. Club Monaco and it's like a netted sweater all right this is one of my favorite ones too except it has flaws but it is Lily Pulitzer thank god there's no missing beads so <coughs> excuse me I'm almost choking over here so it's a dress a maxi dress and it has a really cute like slit on the side but but it has like these little tiny dots like 
there's a dot. And then I think there's one more somewhere towards, okay. And then towards the bottom here. Let's see. One more right there. And then the last one is all the way at the bottom. It's like right near the hem. And I'm not sure what the material is. So it is silk and cotton. So that's a little tricky with trying to like do stain treatments on. So I might just sell it as is, especially since I didn't pay that much money for it. I still can maybe get like $40, I'm hoping, depending on, I don't know, what comps look like. But yeah, that's, that's the beauty of the bins, guys. <laughs> like everything ends up having some type of flaw in it. I would say 30% of my haul has flaws. So these are really cute. They're vintage Oshkosh little kids overalls and these also have a flaw on them they have like a little stain I might try and get it out though because it might since it's on white I can just use like one of those stain treatments I like to use it on white because I'm not afraid of like the color changing when it's on white <sighs> fingers crossed we might might be able to get it out this is gonna be a long haul <laughs> So this is Loft by Ann Taylor, one of my other favorite brands to sell if I can find them cheap enough. They are size 12, they're the Marissa Cropped, and then this cute like gingham print. This is another one of those really good bread and butter brands. Soft and Sexy from American Eagle. They just have like really good basics and they're really soft and they do have a following so they sell typically like I said 10 15 bucks I totally forgot I found these these are free people movement Let's see if I can show you guys a tag and they're these cute joggers I didn't see any flaws on them, but who knows when it's time to photograph, that might change. Yeah, don't see any flaws. All right, I think we're on the last two clothing pieces of the bins haul. This one does have flaws, but I decided to take a chance because it is T by Alexander Wang. I don't know if it's gonna show, there we go. It's this really cute like net sweater. And I'll show you the little flaw, if I can find it. It's really tiny. And I'm pretty sure it's a grease stain. That, right there. It's just a small little grease stain, but it might come out. Or most of the stuff that's flawed is going to end up sitting in a pile for months. We'll see. That is my worst habit ever. Alright, so here's another Free People sweater, the last one. This one is from regular Goodwill. Let's see if I can. There's the Free People and this is the little Barb guy. So I know that's from regular Goodwill. I think this is really cute. I'm surprised it didn't sell there. But that's what it looks like. It may have just been in like the wrong section. I know that happens a lot. So who knows? All right, so I got two more things from the bins that aren't closed. And if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know how excited I was to find these because I never find handbags, ever. Not even exaggerating with you guys. Never found handbags before. These were just chilling on top of a bin. So this is the first one. It's really cute. It's by Donald J. Pliner, which I know is a really good brand with shoes. I've never sold... They're handbags, obviously, because I don't sell handbags, but that's what the little label looks like. And I did search it. I don't know. I might be able to get like $30, $40 for it, but I probably paid maybe $5 for both. And then this one I'm really excited about. I never heard of this brand either, but I looked up solds and solds are anywhere between like $60 and $80 for used. The brand is called Or Yanny. And I guess this is their brand like symbol and 
I'm sorry if you guys are probably like, you never heard of that before? Like, no, because I don't deal with handbags. But this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. It's like a really dark maroon. I think it's showing like a lighter orange on the camera. Probably because I have lights so that you can see everything. But yeah, I don't know. I thought it was really cute. All right. Whew. <laughs> Sorry, this is a really big haul. So after that, I went to two other uh, thrift stores. I got shoes. I'm going to show you the shoes. I still have rubber bands. I hate when they put rubber bands on them. Well, I guess that's a good thing so you don't lose. I think these are new. Hmm. They look brand new and I didn't even notice. I only grabbed these because of the style. They are Clark's. But they're like these cute like Oxford shoes. And I thought for like the fall and work. I used to wear these all the time when I worked at the bank and I loved them. These are so cute. You're going to hear me say cute a lot. Sorry. It's by Eric Michael. And I know Anthropology carries some of these. I'm not sure if this one was. But look how cute these are. Little flats. Like the sling back. And it's like snakeskin almost. I don't know. I'm like really digging these. I wish they were my size. Alright, and then the last pair of shoes that I got from regular Goodwill are these Low Effler Randall. This is my only second time finding these thrifting. The first pair that I found I paid $10 for and I ended up selling them for $150. I'm not going to get $150 for these because they're just simple flats and they do have some flaws. Like, they're on both sides. They have like... It's nothing major. I know they'll still sell for decent, maybe $40, but I thought they were really cute. All right, let's move on to clothes. Oh, so I was gonna show you guys what I got for myself just because I'm excited about it. And I got these at the regular Goodwill. This is a Lululemon tank. I have the same one in like a lighter gray stripe and it's one of my favorite tank tops. And then I also picked this up for myself. It's Loft, which is one of my favorite brands to wear. It has this cool puffy sleeve and it's really soft. And then also Lou and Gray. Lou and Gray does sell well, it has a good following, but I wanted this for myself because I really liked the, it's almost like a rose gold. And then this is from Urban Outfitters BDG. I wouldn't recommend paying full thrift prices for this brand to resell, but I paid that regular thrift price because I wanted it for myself. So yeah, those are my new pieces for fall. And then what I got to sell, which is why you guys are watching, uh, Dolan from Anthropology. It's really cute. It has like a tie front. I know a lot of you guys were asking what this was on Instagram on my little like tag post. This is mod cloth. Size 1X and it is the most adorable little romper. So it's a romper trying to show you guys, but it's like an awkward. And it has like little umbrellas and rain clouds and like lightning. I thought it was cute. All right, I'm making a huge pile over here, so I'm gonna start making one on the other side of myself. All right, everything in this bag is everything from my tag picture. So I got all these Jay McLaughlin. And these sell consistently for $30 for me. So there's this one, that one, this one and this one which is more of like a tunic so it's like longer but yeah those sell really good for me I thought this was so cute it's uh, denim and supply by Ralph Lauren and it's the buffalo plaid it's like a little jacket this is an Eileen Fisher 
don't know if that's gonna this is so cute i kind of want to keep it it's a petite size small so they usually tend to sit a little longer but i mean maybe if it doesn't sell i might keep it it's really cute and it's in like like new condition this is worth they retail for a lot, but their resale value is not that great. But the reason I picked it up is because it is a size extra large and the style of it. It's a really pretty color and it's all lace. So I think someone, you know, for work can wear it. And then another one of my favorite brands to sell is Soft Surroundings, but it has to be a size extra large. That's the trick there. So this is what the tag looks like. And it's a really pretty jacket and then it has this embroidery detailing on the sides so but that was cute for fall and now the rest of the stuff that you guys didn't see in my tag photo so this is a j crew black label dress i did pay up for it but I think it's really cute. I know I have one just sitting in my closet, so I probably shouldn't have done that, but I don't know, I couldn't help myself. It was cute. Okay, so this is another soft surroundings. This one's a size medium. So it might sit a little longer or it might not sell for as much, but it's really soft <laughs> and it's like this huge cowl neck sweater. This one, this tag needs to be repaired. It's like starting to come off. It is a We The Free by Free People. And I think I sold this before. It's like one of those wrap, like cross sweaters. This is just an LK Bennett. This one I kind of want to keep, it's just Zara, but I really like the stripe. So this one is actually new with tag Zara. And I'm really surprised my thrift store did not mark them up, like, well this one was not marked up, but it's a long like midi length dress and then the back is completely cut out. I don't know if you guys can tell but because it's black and it shows weird on camera. But yeah. I think it's really pretty. Alright. My last two pieces which I know contradicts <laughs> what I've been saying about LuLaRoe. How I'm never going to pick up LuLaRoe again. Guys, I picked up freaking LuLaRoe. This one is a size large, but, but, to my defense, it is a really pretty fall floral print. I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of like the 60s, like a very mod floral. I really like it. It's a couch floral. That's what it looks like, couch floral. And I think someone will want this. So I'm going for it. And then this, I've never seen this style before, and it's new with tags. So, it's a joy, that's the name, so that's good that it was there for me. And it's a long sleeveless kimono, but the floral is just really pretty. And sorry if you hear that background noise, they're like um, mowing the yard outside, so. So yeah, that was the last item in my haul. Um, I'm super excited to get all this stuff photographed and listed because I'm in love with it. Like, I haven't had a haul like this in a very long time, so I'm pretty excited. So, I'm saying so, so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then be sure to subscribe, and then also follow me on Instagram at the Queen of Thrift. Alright, take care, guys. Bye.